is Tina. Thank you for joining me today on my channel. If you haven't already, I do ask that you would help my channel to grow a bit by hitting the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I wanted to talk about why do bad things happen? Or as I've heard from people often, why does God allow bad things to happen? Now, a person can have a very good faith and belief in God. And when something horrible in their life happens, it's easy to fall out with Him and get angry, you know. I, too, you know, myself have been going through something very similar for the past three well, actually, I would, the past three years very strongly, but the past eight years with my health, decline in my health, is it's been very difficult. During this time, I have went from a fairly religious person to more of a spiritual person. I have pulled back from the church and religion greatly. Uh, most of it is because... You know, physically I was forced to with my health, but also it has, it's done some damage to my belief system. I wouldn't say damage, I guess. I would say change. It has changed my outlook. Yeah, I like that way better. But to get down to the point of my video, this has helped me to see things differently as far as why God allows things to happen, bad things, or why do bad things happen. Oftentimes we think God is not protecting us, or God is allowing it, or God is sending it our way. But I have realized since I have become more spiritual God is, in my opinion, not playing the role that we often think he is. We think of him as, as Alan Watts has always said in his speeches, Big Daddy up in the sky, you know, and he's controlling everything and he's looking down at us and he's watching us and he's sending good and he's sending bad and he's allowing good and he's allowing bad. But I don't think that's the case. I think God is, I don't know what he looks like physically, but I think he's more of a, I know that we're made in his image, so he has to be physical. But spiritually, you know, he is just up wherever he is. He's all around us. His energy is vast, but he's not controlling us. It, because when you come to earth, it is all about free will, free choice. So you're going to have good and bad energies and people doing all kinds of things. And you're going to be, oftentimes people will be caught just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, if God was, con you know, it wouldn't be earth if God was allowing his angels to stop everything and intervene with everything. Well, what's the point? Why do we even come here? The point is you're coming here to, as a spiritual being, to have a physical experience and a body that is all about free will. So it's not just your free will. It's everybody's free will. So you got good and bad and evil and crazy and nice and sweet you got it all down here and that's sort of like part of the terms to the contract when you come here to earth you sort of like on your own you know uh, I don't know if you've ever read the book the hunger games or seen the movies I've read all the books and I did see the movies but you know it's sort of like you know, being in in the dome, <laughs> um, you, you know, you you just in there by oh, you're on Earth on your own, and uh, it gets rough. And so, it's not what we 
you know, I think we need to view Big Daddy differently than how we do. And if you're raised like I was in the Baptist church or in a strict religious uh, background from any religious standpoint, then you do have this Big Daddy view of God. So you do sort of like think, oh, he's watching over it. It is my belief that, sure, our sins, you know, are going to be accounted for at the end of life during judgment and all, but only then. I mean, I don't think God or, you know, our angels are sitting there making a list. Those, the ways that they can account are telepathically, spiritually, just like when people die, they say they see their whole life flash before their eyes. It, it's almost, you know, that on the other side, when you're not in a physical body, things are just so amazing uh, on the uh, spiritual realm of communications. There, You don't need to speak physically. You don't need to, uh, you know, I've had two near-death experiences. You don't need to hear uh, you you communicate everything. All communications are telepathically. There's you can hear you you know everything just by being present and looking at some you know someone. Um, there's no need for words. Words exist. Words are alive over there. You know you you think them. Um, you know, my cousin said to me the other day, when you think, when you say the word love in your head, but you don't say it out loud, you know you said it. Yeah, because you said it in your head. And that, I love that he said that, because that's what it's like. You, you don't need to speak it out loud. You can do that with other beings over there, not just with yourself. And I love what Dana Reeves said. She was the wife of Christopher Reeves, who passed away. He played Superman, you know, and he was paralyzed. One, when he died, shortly thereafter, within like six months, she was diagnosed with like a rare form of lung cancer, I want to say it was. And her son, they had one child together. And, you know, he said, this is not fair. Why? Why? Of course he would say that. <laughs> you can't believe him. He's losing both parents in a short amount of time. And the only thing she could say to him is, son, life is not fair. you got to stop expecting it to be. And I, that is so true, you know. And, and for her to say that, you know, that's... That, that was good advice for him because it it's not fair. Um, and also, I like to say to my kids, life's about changes. Nothing ever stays the same. And that is so true, too. Changes can be good and bad. Changes can be real bad. And I used to think everything happened for a reason. I don't think that anymore. Um, you know, I do think that good things can come from bad things sometimes, um, oftentimes, not always, sometimes, you know, it shit just happens, you know, but, um, it's, it is a chance for us to learn and evolve when we go through bad things. I do think there's a misconception with happiness. People are taught, especially Americans, that we have the right and we deserve to be happy. Well, no, we don't. And if you're happy your whole life, that's great, but you're not going to be a very deep spiritual person, compassionate person, because you're not going to have had the chance to grow and learn and evolve, which is what you came here to do. So there is some good from going through hard times. You do come out a yeah, a better person, really. It, it changes you. It humbles you. It gives you compassion. It gives you some wisdom, too. And you can't buy that stuff. You know, wisdom is far more valuable than money. You can be a fool and have a pocket full of money. But if you've got wisdom, you don't need a pocket full of money, and nor do you want it, because you know that that money can destroy and erode your soul. 
Well, I haven't done a spiritual video in a while, but um, thank you for joining me.